but hi everyone welcome to day three of manifestation um i'm bonita mariam is not with us today she will join us um in two days so today you got me and i'm here on my farmstead in at Silver Lake, Maine. It's really beautiful today. Like, as you see, I'm dressed a little warm, but it's so beautiful and sunny out. Um, we are going to talk a little bit about manifestation, a bunch of quick, easy, fun manifestation exercises. And um, before we get on to today's exercise, some of you who were with us on day one, I said, you know, multiple times throughout the day, just go into yourself, discover that little spark of joy, that little ember, and like blow on it, activate it until it fills your entire being so that you're just filled with a moment of joy. And then from there, put out your manifestation wish. And because we're, you know, early in this process, we're just doing things that are for ourselves. We're not right now manifesting for others, just for ourselves. And we're wishing for like simple things because this is an exercise. It's not like the big thing. It's like, like uh, warm ups. And uh, so I said, I'd like magical horses because uh, that's what I love. Rainbow horses, unicorns, pegasuses, whatever. But um, that was like actually the wish from my brain. The wish from my heart came out, I wanted to see the Aurora Borealis. And, and I really do. <laughs> I'm like a freak for the Northern Lights. So an amazing thing happened. First of all, multiple like horses all over the place. I was chatting with a friend and she's like, she was like, what is this you're doing? And I said, 33 days of manifestation. And she went, God, you're such a unicorn. Like funny little things like that just coming in. Um, you know, the suggested YouTube videos were all about rescue horses, but you know, I mean, every single thing that happens, you can explain away, but that's the point of manifesting. You don't get into your logical mind and deduce and explain away and like poo poo it. You just accept everything in your heart as yes, I manifested this. Because when you accept the tiny things, then you can accept the bigger, 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 bigger until miracles are just happening in your life. Um, believe me, master manifestors do so well. <laughs> they do so well in life. So the, the real thing I asked for an Aurora Borealis uh, this was two nights ago, was supposed to be continuing the third day of thunderstorms. But as soon as I wished for it, you know, the sky turned blue, the day cleared, it was gorgeous. And I have an app in my phone that lets me know what the KP indicator is and the solar flares for when there may be an aurora borealis. And it went up from zero to five. Throughout the day, it went up to five. I was like, oh my God, that is crazy. But then the clouds came back and the weather was full of reports of like flash flooding and stuff. And since the best way to see an Aurora Borealis is over a body of water facing like north, you know, northwest, northeast, north, um, it didn't seem like a good idea if there's flash flooding and torrential rain reported to be near a body of water, especially since the areas I would go and view were under like watch alert, whatever the lower one of flash flood. So I chose not to go out. I did go further up my mountain and so I could have just a beautiful view of the sky. And from there, if there is an Aurora Borealis, I can see the glow. It's not as good as it would be if I went elsewhere. There was no glow. There was no Aurora Borealis. The KP indicator went down to like where I am in the south, went low. Further up north, they had a beautiful display. But down here in southern Maine, nothing. But it was such a beautiful night. Oh my God, the sky was clear. And it was one of those nights I was just laying back on a cot, looking up at the stars 
And it was like, um, you know, one of those nights you could feel like you're going swimming through the stars. And the more I let my eyes relax and look, the more and more stars came out. And there were a bunch of meteors, which honestly is so special, but also that's kind of common here to see beautiful skylit night and, and meteors. I've seen a lot of meteors in the last six months, but it was still, it was really, really special. So I'll keep an eye out, you know, I'm pretty sure somewhere in the next few months I'll get my chance and I'll be ready. Um, but even though I didn't get exactly what I wished for, I still had an amazing experience that was energetically pretty comparable to what I was looking for. I wanted something magical to happen in the sky and something magical happened in the sky. And I wanted magical horses and a lot of horses came in uh, in different ways and forms. Uh, no real horses because I don't have any on my property, but in other ways. So I will take that as a manifestation win. And this is where the exercises are important because you accept it in your heart. Don't try to logic it away. Just accept it and be like happy with what's coming in because that opens up. It's really hard to manifest with a blocked off heart behind walls of disbelief. You have to just start opening and opening. Which leads me to today's manifestation exercise. First of all, think back to any time in your life, you know, when you're a kid, it happened a lot, or when you're like young and excited and you say, I'm going to do this. And then you do it and you're happy. Like when you're a little kid and say, I'm going to become a ballerina and you get up and you start dancing and you know, or I'm going to climb that tree and you climb the tree. You don't go through all the levels of organization and disbelief and planning and self doubt. You just, you're like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be that. And you do or be this or that. And then even like other times in our life, like, you know, when you get that inspiration and everything just flows, when you know this is a project I want to do, or this is a vacation I want to take, or this is something and everything just falls into place as you're going forward. And when things aren't falling into place, you stop and you realize, oh, I just need to adjust. Now everything's going into place again. So. This is a form of manifestation. A lot of times we're working with our guides or our soul or our guardian angel. You know, we're inviting whoever out there to come and help out. You know, um, usually when we go forward and we feel fully in a line, we're not alone. We have help. We have someone be it 3D people, like you're happy to accept help from people because you're all on a path together to create a project that's wonderful. Um, or you're getting help from angels, guides, guardians, Archangel Michael, Mother Mary. For me, the librarians always hanging around, the Galactic Collective, White Shell Woman, White Buffalo Woman, always there when I need help. Um, so, we don't have to think about manifestation is something that happens to us or something we create ourselves. It can be just creating an ambiance of wonderment with those that you are happy. You know, there are the angels and guides and guardians and spirits, they are wonderment. So this is their wheelhouse. It doesn't have to be all on your shoulders. And there's no thought of need or anything. It's just about creating wonderment together. So, um, yeah, get rid of that, do I deserve this, or is it my right to, or whatever. It's just going forward in wonderment. So we're going to do a quick meditation we're going to, again, spark that ember of joy that's within us. 
You may find it in your heart. You may find it in your gut. You may find it in your brain. Wherever that spark of joy is at this moment, we're going to inflame it. And then from this totally joyous state, invite whomever out there who wishes to help you from a state of joy connection, pure loving joy connection, which is a very high frequency. So you don't need to worry about like demons or buggity boos or whatever, because they're not going to come to that frequency. That's like nails on a chalkboard to them. Those that will come are those that thrive on love and joy. So we're going to call out anyone who wishes to connect with me from this frequency of joy with love on up to higher frequencies of joy and love to help me with my manifestation. Please come and do so. And then look into your heart and see what is it that just wants to come forward. And then be open to however it comes forward. Like you might look in your heart and go, a puppy dog. You know, that doesn't mean you're going to go out today and get a puppy dog, but something with the frequency and the joy of puppy dog is opening up within you. And then don't dictate the outcome. Today we're going to let our guides and guardians who already see our life paths, they know our souls, they know everything about us, help bring whatever is in your heart to a wonderful, magical place waiting for you as you go forward on your life path. Right. Let's do this. Let's do this. <sighs> okay, give yourself a moment. And remember, it doesn't matter who you are. Everyone has within us a spark of joy. Somewhere in there, an ember. So, find it and connect with it. This has nothing to do with whatever else is going on inside of you. This is just a moment of joy. Allow that spark all on its own volition to just expand out and fill your being with pure joy. A moment of joy. Let it just fill you up. Let it fill your heart, your guts, your organs, your blood, your spirit, your ambiance, your hair, your aura. Just invite this moment of joy to expand out, fill you, and envelop you. Great. If there's any part of you that's resisting, honor that part of you. Tell them with compassion that the joy is there whenever they're ready for it. Like putting a little plate of food in front of this puppy dog in my mind. <laughs> and whew. All right, now just open your mind, open your heart and call out to whomever is here who loves me and cares about my best, most joyous state of being. Whoever wishes to connect with me on this level of pure joy and love, on up to even higher frequencies of joy and love, I welcome you to come here and help me to help me with my manifestation wish. And just look in your heart and see what pops up. This is something for you. It's something for you. As much as you want to manifest for everyone else you love, and all of that pops up, let it go on the wayside until you find something just for you. It might be a color, it might be a memory, Whatever pops up, invite it up, like in front of your face. This is what is in my heart. You might not even know what to do with it, 
but just give it to your guides, your guardians, your angels, your soul, and say, bring this vision to a fabulous state of joy in my life. Bring this to be something and surprise me. Surprise me as I go forward on my life path. I want this to create something great. Hmm. Oh, fantastic. Sometimes we don't need to be dictating every detail. We can just give it to them, and they know better than we do. And they have all the magic. Let's put them to work. Otherwise, they're just bored sitting around watching us live our lives, wishing they could help. So put your guides and guardians to work. And as you go forward through your day, give yourself multiple moments, as many as you want, where you just stop and fill yourself with joy, connect with your guides, your guardians, your friends, invite them to hang out with you all day and tell them to spin their magic and bring this into your life. It's really amorphous today. Tomorrow we're gonna to get more detailed. So come on back tomorrow. It will be the continuation, the exact same process but we're gonna be more detailed. Today, open heart, open to everything, love and joy. Tomorrow, we're gonna to get more detailed, all right? So have fun, I adore you guys, and um, I hope you have a wonderful, magical day. Bye.